get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbell with the final press conference here for Crawler versus Linares this Saturday night live on Sky Sports. With me I've got the WBA lightweight champion Anthony Crawler. How are you mate? You doing? I'm good thank you. You okay? Yeah. Enjoy Dallas? Uh, yeah it was, a, it was a good week. Shame about the result. Yeah. Uh, but um, like I said it must have been a, a sort of a disappointing night for the whole Gallagher uh, stable. Um, yeah. you, obviously you, know, you couldn't be out there because of your fight this week but uh, you obviously watched it and disappointed for Liam. Yeah, of course. It's um, a disappointed. But at the same time, proud of him. I thought he, um, he'd give a great... He was he's always going to be such a tough fight, but he gave um, a great display and he certainly didn't let anyone down. He lost to um, a great fighter, a brilliant fighter, and um, a future Hall of Famer for sure. And he's got nothing to be ashamed of. He's shown he belongs on the big stage. Um, so, yeah, a bit, a bit of sweet. Obviously, I'm, I'm really happy the, the way he... I'm proud as a friend for the way he done it, but um, it, it was obviously Liam is gutted, he's lost his world title and so am I for him, but he'll bounce back. It must be difficult for you guys in the gym having sort of separate fights uh, away from each other because it means that you know you all like to support yeah. one another, but you've got your huge fight this week in Manchester. He had his huge fight in Dallas last week, so it's just the timing of that and yeah, hard for Joe as well. Yeah, yeah he's, he's and Joe was away um, as well, but it's... Um, it's just you've got to put yourself first that in, in those moments. For instance, if I was over in Dallas and Liam, he would have stayed there. It's just, it is what it is and that sort of, I don't know about, I won't say a problem, um, cause it's not a problem, um, but that's one of the things of being in a successful gym. Mm. And it, that's just like, so it's a nice thing really, but like I say, a lot of the hard work had been done. So it wasn't a worry whatsoever. Um, probably the, Hardest fight you could have taken in the division. That's arguable, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, yeah everyone's got opinion, opinions Richard, about that. Yeah. But we'll say one of them uh, yeah. against Jorge Linares. Um, if you were to fight the Jorge Linares that fought Kevin Mitchell, would you think that you would beat him? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I'm confident that I would do. Kev gave um, a great display that night, and that's what I say. I'm not sure whether it was because of how good Kevin was or Jorge come a, away from his game plan and fought a little bit more than normal, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm, I'm confident I beat that Yogi Linares. Um, I fought the time after out against Kano, he was very good, very sharp, good knockout. Um, it's, a, it's a tough, tough fight Saturday, but it's a fight that I really believe will win. I hear people having different opinions about you. Some people believe you're going through a purple patch of your career where yeah. everything's going your way. To, you know, obviously you had to draw with Perez, yeah. then you beat him, then the Barossa win. So you're kind of on a roll. And other people saying that you've just improved as a fighter from that of four years ago, for example. Which one is yeah. it? It's um, certainly the second as I've improved as a fighter and I've improved again. And I'll have to have improved to so beat Jorge Linares. But yeah, I feel that the momentum is um, it's an adult. you don't beat Dalis Perez and Ismael Barroso by fluke. You don't you don't keep getting lucky. I go in there to do to do what I'm um, set out to and to win, and that's what I've done. But um, I certainly feel like the momentum is with me, and it's and it's filling me with confidence and all sorts. Um, I'm I'm very like now so much more confident than what I was a few years ago. I've always believed in myself, but um, I feel I feel improve as a fighter and physically and mentally better than ever. As per usual before any of your fights there's always talk of what happens if you get past Linares. I know yeah, you don't ever think next? about that but I mean there's talks of Mikey Garcia, there's still talks of Terry Flanagan, there's so many options for you there. Yeah, it's um, like I say one fight at a time. But they are huge fights. They're um, they don't get you know it's this this lightweight division it's it's filled with big good names, big names, many a big fights for me. So what will I do after after Saturday? Get the win and even one of those fights that I'd be interested in, both great fighters. And I just want to be involved in the big nights and that's what they would be. Seeing obviously um, 
well, I haven't actually seen in any interviews, but I've seen uh, you and Wayne Rooney obviously spending a little bit of time together ahead of this fight. He's a huge supporter of yours. Yeah. Um, you know, what kind of things has he been saying to you uh, ahead of this no, fight? Wayne's just looking forward to the fight, and he's, he's a big boxing fan. So we just talk boxing in general. But um, Wayne's just a big boxing fan, and it's nice to chat about him about that. And just it was obviously the team that I love, the, um, the Manchester United team. But um, it's, it's, a few of them are going to be there Saturday, and that's just again, that's just not like I need any motivation. But that's just added motivation to have all to have a lot of the players there watching us, or even not even just that, just to take the time out to watch us on telly. Look, I was going to ask, does it give you like a little bit of confidence? You go down to the training ground, and uh, I'm not sure how big a boxing fan. And we know Wayne is a, a big yeah. boxing fan, but uh, the rest of them, like Ashley Young, are seeing yeah, you know yeah. sending the tweets and that. It yeah. give you just more confidence that. It, He's kind of doing this for Manchester more than more of course, than yeah, it's, anything. Uh, the club, the club. Listen, the whole city gets behind me. The whole Manchester, it's um, that gets behind me. But um, the club's very, very good to me. I mean, I'm going down there after Ray. We've got some. I've got some with Wayne and um, some, the club's very good to us and they get behind us. And like I say, that means an awful lot to us. The club that I said, you know, going to follow him week in, week out for them to be cheering on the boys, for them to be behind us. It's, it's very special to us. So your belt's on the line this week, uh, the WBC Diamond Belt and the yeah. Ring Magazine Belt. Um, you look through the names of people that have held uh, those two belts and you'd be in good company. Special. It's um, I'd be in a very elite club. I mean, I could say you, you win a world title, you join an elite club, but to, to win the Ring Belt, so that's, that's a lovely, lovely belt at like WBC Diamond. Um, I, think, I think someone once called it the Hundreds and Thousands Belt. We did, and um, listen, that hundreds and thousand belt will look extra special on my mantelpiece, and it's something that every fight would want. <laughs> it is a pretty looking belt, but um, like I said you're, the crowds are getting bigger for your fights, and just yeah. momentum's very much in your favour. You just got to keep your eye uh, fully focused on what you need to do. Yeah, definitely. People talk about going over to America, this and that, all I'm focused on is Saturday fighting Yogi Linares. It doesn't, this this is the biggest fight out there for me, like we were spoken to earlier. Some people might have an opinion, but in general, it's, um, for what it's for, it's the biggest fight that can be made in the lightweight division. And this is, that's all I'm thinking about. Like I say, a win on Saturday and um, a bit of a legacy fight. It's, um, it's something to be remembered by and, and that's what I want to be. Did you watch my 48-minute interview with Scott Quigg? <laughs> I've not seen all the 48 minutes of it, no. How no. was it? Have you seen any of it? I've not. Do you not. know if you're bored one night, like yeah. you know, after you've won on Saturday, if you're bored sitting there, just try and find it. I'll send it to you. A 48-minute interview with Scott Quigg. I bet that was entertaining. Actually, it was quite entertaining. I, but if, you, if you're tired and you can't get to sleep... Night you just, nurse. You want... Better than night nurse. Yeah. yeah I'll night no, nurse. look out for that. 48 minutes. 48 Tyler. minutes, you and Scott, what did you speak I about? I don't know. I didn't hardly say anything, but he was on full form. He said about 35,000 views. 35,000 people have watched Scott Quigg for 48 minutes. I'm going to hit him. I'll have, I'll have to see this. Yeah, wait till your fight's over and then yeah. maybe, you know. Do you know Scott's in the gym? He's, no, he's always in the gym. Um, I think he's looking to be out later in the year. And it'll be in my corner Saturday night. Looking forward to it. Going for crawler, body shot between seven and nine. <laughs> Mate, I'll take that. It's um, I'm confident in body shots have been a big, a big part of, of my game recently. But obviously, I can't go looking for them. Certainly not too early because um, your girl will be sharp on the counter. But um, I'll take that. If it, I'm actually going to show as well. It's it. going to be a left hook, and it's going to be the. There. You said it first. Right. Say, so, yeah, I hope you're right. On Holgo, not on you. <laughs> I've got a little side bet with Robert Diaz as well. So. After this, yeah, Robert's a cool guy, and um, but I want you to be taking his money off him. I will do. Uh, Anthony, listen, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV. Yeah. Uh, best of luck with the next couple of days. We've got Wayne tomorrow yes. and Saturday night. It's on. Can't do it. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. All right, no problem. Thank Salmon. you very much.